Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I want to do this video quickly to um, uh, just to pay tribute to uh, an old uh, buddy of mine um, who recently passed away. Of course, I'm talking about Alexi Laiho of the band Children of Bodom. Um, it's it was a shock for me to read the news um, last week. Um, I knew Alexi. I wouldn't say that we were uh, close friends or anything, but we were definitely uh, acquaintances through the years. Um, we did a photo shoot together. Um, you know, we uh, we hung out a bunch of times at the NAM shows or uh, the Frankfurt Messe. Um, you know, um, it's really sad that he passed. Uh, he was a very important figure in the metal world, uh, a very influential guitar player. Uh, of his generation, um, so um, I think he will be me he will be missed by uh, by many people, by many fans. Um, uh, I mean, he has left us a great uh, musical legacy, and that will of course live on. So um, you know, just want to share some thoughts about um, you know some personal thoughts and personal experiences with Alexi. Um, the very first time that I met him was in Japan, of all places, if you can believe that, in Tokyo. Um, I was there doing promotion for uh, the uh, Firewind album, and he was on tour there with COB. And uh, I think it was in 2003, yeah. And um, our record labels had set it up that we were going to do a photo shoot together for the cover of Young Guitar Magazine which uh, was, you know, it's, it's the biggest guitar magazine in Japan. And uh, here it is. I just dug up the old issue. This was a cover. Look at that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we look so young here. This came out February 2004, but the photo shoot was June, I think, or July, or maybe even a bit, bit later. I don't know, maybe, maybe September 2003 anyways, so... This was the first time I met him actually during this photo shoot and um, uh, it was a pretty cool issue. You know, I just um, went down the memory lane the other day and I was just looking through the pages of the magazine. I have no idea what, what the interview was about. <laughs> so, but, you know, here are some photos of us hanging out. And there was even a poster in here, like a fold out poster. There were the poster boys. February 2004. I look like a girl here. <laughs> At that point, you know, Alexi was definitely more experienced than I was. I was so green to the business back then. This was like only my second album with Firewind and I just started, I had just started doing like some promo tours in Japan. Alexi had already done world tours or several tours. And um, yeah, yeah, it was, you know, he was very nice to me. I went to see Children of Bodom that night in Tokyo when they played and they killed it, man. They were great. They were on fire. Um, later on, I, um, I met him at the Frankfurt Music Messe because uh, ESP would uh, come bring us together at these fairs, you know, the music fairs, and we would do signings together. And... Um, First time that we did a signing was 2005 or 2006. I'm sorry that my memory is not very clear, uh, but um, and that was kind of funny because we were backstage and uh, just hanging out backstage before we went out just to do a signing, and it was me and Alexi and um, Empu from uh, Nightwish. So there I was, a Greek guy with two Finnish guys, right? Boy, they could drink, and uh, that was like my, you know, I did a, a small attempt to try to keep up with them, but uh, it didn't last very long. <laughs> I um, I got uh, shit faced pretty fast, pretty quickly, and I think the guys were they were laughing about that, <laughs> and I went out to do this signing completely drunk, um, so I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm not a big I'm not big into alcohol anyways. That, that's not my thing. But it was fun, like for five minutes, you know, and uh, I think we were having a lot of fun backstage and, you know, and uh, Alexia and Empu were teaching me um, uh, Finnish cuss words and I was teaching them Greek uh, cuss words. So, um, yeah, it was cool. You know, that was kind of like the first time or the second time we hung out and, and um, 
later on, you know, we did a few more signings for ESP Guitars. And uh, I can't remember when was the last time I saw him. Maybe it was 10 years ago, something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, it was very sad for me because uh, to, to hear about Alexis passing, not only because he will be missed by, of course, his loved ones and his family, and he was so young. The guy was so young. I mean, he was just only one year older than me. So we were same generation. Um, so it's a little bit of a shock, you know, when you hear somebody your age um, leaving this world. I think he had a lot more to give still. Um, musically, you know, he had a lot more stuff he could have given us. Um, and, you know, I just kind of felt like at some point, you know, our paths crossed there for a moment. And at that time, like, you know, 15, 17 years ago, we were, you know, I felt we were kind of like part of a, this European new movement of, of you know, metal guitar players. And um, so, you know, I kind of connected with him on that level. Um, so anyways, it, you know, he was a great guy. He always treated me nice. He was always very cool. Um, so rest in peace, Alexi, and um, my condolences to his family, to his friends, to his loved ones. Um, I'm grateful for the times that we got to hang out. And um, thank you for the music that you've given to the world.